All right, moment of truth. What are you hoping to weigh in at today? Um, hopefully, I weigh in at 205. I've been cutting for four weeks now, and my goal has been to lose one pound a week, and I've been on that goal, so let's see. Low, yes, a new low, <laughs> PR. What the hell? I think I've never it seen that. I think the batteries it means, low? Uh, yeah, out of batteries. Oh no. no! Wait, we have a second one over there. Does that mean I'm too fat? Oh, but I've been waiting on this one. So I know, so I started off 210. So I know how much I weigh according to this Fine. one. Fine, what kind of batteries does it use? I don't know, it's probably some weird one. Oh, it wanted to, it wanted to do it. Did you see that? Yeah. It wanted to, watch. Maybe go really go fast. Here. See, it wanted to do something. I think I did see it flash 205 though. Did you see that? Well, I also saw 192. 192? <laughs> what do I look like though? You look pretty good. Really? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. I started off 210 this year. Yeah. And I've been pretty consistent on my diet and my exercise. Yeah. And my abs are coming back in. I still have a lot of this, have a lot of this, but my goal is um, within three months to be maybe like 190 something. Wow, shredded. Yeah, I want to look like I actually lift from it. You look like you lift. What the hell are you talking about? How do I look like I lift if I'm like this? No non-lifter has a chest. Oh. They don't have pecs. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> and arms. Like, how big are your arms? Uh, probably like 17 or something. Yeah. Who I no never lifting? measured, but maybe like 17 and like a half point three four two. <laughs> Who no lifter has arms like that? Okay, hey, low. I think it was telling us your IQ. Look. No, it's not. Watch. Okay, ready? This is third. Uh, I don't know. Tenth times the charm. Okay, go. One, two, three. Fucking bitch. Well, let's see how much this one is then. Not that it really matters because this could say anything, and I don't know <coughs> if I've lost three. Sorry, I'm sick. Okay. See? I don't know. See, that one's 207, but it could be I was 213 on that one, right? So who knows? But I need to take my weekly update pic. Can you take it from your mom? Yeah. Ready? Maybe they take it over here. Yeah. Get this shirt out here. Okay, ready? Mm -mm. Got it. Awesome. Looks like this. Let's see. Oh, that looks good. Slowly but surely. Thanks, good Mom, for potato. Good job, baby. Let's go get hey. food. Hey. Let's go get food. I'm so hungry. What are we gonna get? 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 Actually hit the camera lens. Oh. Papa, you didn't know it was gonna be on low. I didn't. It was working yesterday. And you don't want to just double check the batteries, cause I might already have them. No, it's probably one of those stupid ass batteries, like one of those flat ones. Papa, can we please just check? Show Watch. me that I'm wrong. Watch. Exactly. See, I told you it's those Triple stupid, A. those stupid flat I have batteries. Those. I I have those! No, this is the battery. It's these ones. You gotta put this one. No, on. it's not. Why are you go? You these know what? These are batteries. You know, what? This you is, know what's been crazy? This is the ink that goes in there. So, 2017 has proven to me to be the year that Mom Bear is always right. Because there's, like, I can name just off the top of my head three different instances when I told him something. He went against my word, and a week later, or maybe even immediately right after, he's like, oh, fuck. Give me Mom one example. Right. One of them was we're trying to get laptops for Barbell. I told you, hey, I know you have a busy schedule. Why don't we just give the company card to the guys that are going to get it and then they can buy it themselves because we trust our team. Why are you turning off the light? And then what happened? A week went by. They needed their laptops really bad. And then what happened? What would you end up doing? I just noticed that I am getting a lot more cut. Than no, you what did you do? What did you do? I gave them the credit card so they can go buy the laptops. But I had that genius idea by myself. Can we please just change the damn batteries? Why? Where are these stupid AAA batteries at? 
Oh, now you need me. Now you need what me. Are they? I'll go get them. Fine. So I try to be as organized as possible. Bart will claim the same thing, however, um, he's not organized at all. So I keep my stuff in bins. So I have all the household items here. I have our tools, some more tools. And then this is like all the rat stuff, rat stuff, and then it moves to dog stuff here. So I'm pretty damn organized. So immediately I know that our batteries are here because you know why? I labeled it. I labeled it. So I did a good job of organizing. Here, I'll just give you a glimpse into Paw Bear's organization, okay? So this is how he organizes his gun stuff. Ready? Oh, and camping stuff. This is how he organizes stuff. He doesn't know what is where at all. Like, why? Why do you need this? Why? Why do you need this? Why do you need trash? Why? Why? What are you doing? I gotta feed him. I gotta weigh myself so we get in and out. I'm starving. Give me these. See? I even wrote this. I wrote AAA batteries just to make sure that we're keeping it to the basics. So unorganized. Look what I did. I even placed it like this. I placed this in here. Cause that's where it makes the most sense. What, I wouldn't put it here. I wouldn't put it like this. I wouldn't put it like this. Some people they go and I see. Can them. you just move? I thought I, you were I've starving. Seen, I've seen people. Put I it thought like, you were starving. I've seen people even put it like that before. And Are I'm you? Like, why would you do that? Can you? <laughs> you're wasting my time. <laughs> do you know anyone that would just put it like this? Not me. I put it here. Like Hurry that. up! I bet you he's gonna open the wrong one too. Which one are you opening? The one that's already open. Oh, thank God. I had to check. What are you talking about? I'm fucking... They call me Ace. No, that's what I call my left hand. <laughs> no. My right hand's Danny. <laughs> the, the one that never got into a fight before. <laughs> yeah, because it's Ace and Danny. They're lethal weapons. <laughs> You've never been tested. How do you know? I don't want to get tested. Don't be a hater. Why you pick on me today? What happened to the CUNY guy? I am CUNY guy. You're rude. I'm freaking CUNY guy deluxe. You better tell me the accurate weight. I know I'm 205, if not 206. But I know I'm 205. All right. All right, ready? No. What the hell? Why? Oh. It's, uh, it's Terry. Here we go. Alright, ready? Yes. Moment of truth. Why do you keep moving? 205.2 How does it feel? Oh god, oh god, I hear it. This arrogant dude. How does it feel to be married? to a Greek god. Look at that profile right there. That tells me everything. Your butt and your ass, I mean your butt and your stomach stick out the same amount. How does it feel to be married to a Greek god? I don't know, because I'm not married to one. 205 pounds. I'm just married. Of pure. I'm just married to a sumo wrestler. Of pure Mongolian beef. Can you put everything away, please? Can you put everything <laughs> away, please? Fine, where does it go? You're organized, you should know. And what else goes away? Right, so what else? Batteries. Let what else is me. being put away? I'll show you. No, before even leaving this bathroom, what else you gotta put away? Well, I better put the no. shirt back on. No, you're already missing it. Jealous. <laughs> before people get jealous of what they see. So this is the first thing that goes back. <clears throat> what else? Let me guess, you want me to put this back even though you're the one that told me to bring it out? You don't have to guess. Okay, so I'll, I'll put that back even though you told me to bring it out. Yeah, because I'm doing you a favor. And then, see this? Yes, it's less now, but it doesn't make sense to put this here. It doesn't make sense to put this Can here. Can you just put it, you talk so much. Just put it here. <coughs> you cough so much. I gotta stop coughing. See what? I'll tell you where this goes. Yeah, please. Okay. So 
So duh, of course, this doesn't go in here. Why would it? Nor does it go in this thing. Nor does it go here. Even though it fits perfectly. Where it goes. You have three seconds to put no, it somewhere. No, no, no. no, ready? One, two, three. That's wrong. No. Ow, I had arthritis. <laughs> Where I meant to put it was right there. Why? Right there. Let's Why? It. That's wrong too. Why? Oh, my fucking hand. My hand hurts. Where I meant to put it. Why'd you tell me it was in the dog stuff? That's where I got it from. Is it not? The dean tricked me. So I knew where to put this, but after he told me, it erased the other part of my mind. So I don't know where to put it anymore. Where does it go? Perfect. No, I don't know why it? you didn't know that. Fine, it goes right here. No, it doesn't. Where? It goes over here. Next to all the other batteries. Exactly. I know, I but you there. weren't sure. I you don't know. Look, look at this. It fits. These things match. You see that? It matches. Get out of my face. Let's go eat. I love in and out but since I'm on a diet, I have to not completely avoid it, but kind of adjust my order. So usually I get double-double, which is double cheese, spread, all the good stuff. Uh, but this time I took the cheese out to eliminate fat. I added grilled onions and I subbed the spread for ketchup and mustard, which has no fat. So this is what I have to deal with now, which is, it still makes me happy because it's still in and out but it's not the same as, let's say, what Mombert got, which is one of these juicy bad boys. So I'm still happy because I still get to eat here, but I just have to adjust a little bit for my diet, but the diet is going good. How's your burger, Cuny? It is so perfect. I've been having like the weirdest taste buds these days. Um, there's a lot of things I don't want to eat, but this right here, though. Can we show the prices? It is perfect. Thank you, In and Out. <laughs> Would you say that's our baby's first In and Out? Look, like I had it before. No, I think it's the second time. Oh, really? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, now the baby's gonna love In and Out. Hell yeah, better. I'll punch it. What are you drinking, Ma Bear? <laughs> Did you hear fun? Yeah. <laughs> Big cuny. So I am drinking uh, honey or lemon honey water tea. How come? Because I have a, a really bad sore throat. I think I'm coming down with the cold, but I'm not sure. I just have a runny nose and a super, super, super scratchy throat. So I'm trying to kill whatever bacteria is in there. Don't you almost like never get sick? I ne almost never get sick. I think I only get sick like once a year and that's just to show the world that I'm still human. But like literally once a year I get sick and it's probably for like three days. Maybe a week. Maybe. That's also because you're Mexicans. Mexicans never get sick. I don't know. I know. I mean, majority of us don't get sick. Tiff almost never gets sick. True. True. I guess we're not sick people, but... I don't know. I think it's just the baby since I'm giving it so many nutrients right now that it's kind of taking me of my life force. So hopefully he gets my good stuff. Or she. Meatloaf loves that toy. He keeps pulling it out. And he keeps pulling out all the stuffing. <laughs> he keeps pulling out. Look at this. <laughs> Look at all of that. Yeah, every day Jill's mom comes. And she comes and sweeps it all up. And this bastard right here keeps pulling <coughs> it out. But it looks so cute while he's doing it. That's not the only reason why she comes. She doesn't just come to sweep up stuffing. I know, but she does that every day. And this guy, oh, now you want to pretend, oh, okay. See, now he goes back. He goes back to freaking pulling the stuff. Oh, now he's going to smell his meter. Oh, no, he's scratching. He has a little itch. Meatloaf. Why do you love pulling the stuffing out, Meatloaf? Milov, talking to you. Why do you like pulling the stuffing out? Since now daddy's camera shy. I think he doesn't care about me. His ears look like crazy when he's biting. Mm -hmm. 
and we're oh not that. Now he's going to his freaking dick suckery. How did that even happen? My bear. What? My 23andMe report came in. <laughs> Finally, Jesus. I know, this is so crazy. I don't even know how to how to expect or say or feel or whatever. Like, I remember when yours came in. Yeah. And you were super excited, but now this is me. So now it's my turn to feel it all. Oh, and then all of you guys since 2007 was like, Bart's Chinese, Bart's Korean, Bart's Vietnamese, whatever. And then on the wedding video, you guys found out that I'm Chinese, Taiwanese, but now I'm gonna get the real, real shit. I'm gonna, real, know, real. I'm gonna know genetically what I am. Cause maybe I'm fucking Filipino. Should I click it? Well, what do you think you're gonna be? Well, I mean, I don't know, Chinese. Cause my heart of hearts wants, wants to be exotic. To be some exotic <laughs> motherfucker. I'm a, I'm a little bit Mongolian. I don't even know if they can, you know, Detect get that, that detailed. Cause yeah. I know 23 all and me also only works the more people get on it. And since there's a lot of Europeans on there, they have been able to single out and distinguish a lot of European alleles. Yeah. But Asians, you know, like. Asians don't like to be all up in this motherfucker, so there might not even be that much, and they oh. might just be like, yo, you're related to fucking Bobby Lee or something. And okay. I'm like, what? All right, let's do it. <sighs> okay, moment of truth. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thanks for coughing all over me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was like, moment of truth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Bam. Woo, shit. What happened? Okay. <gasps> oh Tell me! I want to know too. Oh, yeah. Because, okay, so right now I just saw this. 78.2% Chinese. Awesome! You're a little bit exotic. Which means there is 21% something else. Yeah. And that's true because I'm also part Peruvian. Oh, hey! My Remember? little poppy. <laughs> so I am part Peruvian You're too. You're exotic, baby. Because uh, my great grandpa, back in I think like 1850s or something, he went from China on a ship all the way to Peru because <laughs> he was buying herbs and stuff for his, his uh, herbal trading company store, and he married a little Haina, mm, and he had you can't kids. Can't resist la Latina. <laughs> Just focus. Oh, sorry, I'm not. Sorry. Coughing, please. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. All right. One of the biggest moments in my life. I'm trying to figure out what it is, and this person is coughing all the time. that? Isn't that cutie? <laughs> I guess so. All right. God damn. I'm going to click on this. You ready? Yeah. Oh, nothing? Yeah. What? I think the internet's really slow. On the real? Yeah. It's loading. God damn it. I'm trying to do this shit real time. Wow, bro. Wow, 23andMe. No, it's not. It's our internet. Nadine might be uploading. Damn it. Do, 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 do. Oh, shit. There you go. BK, BK Troublemaker. That's the BK Troublemaker. Ooh, there's some yellow up in the Americas. Yeah. What? Are you serious? Where is that? Where is that? What is that? Am I part bluish? <laughs> what? How am I part red? Blue and yellow. Okay, scroll down. Papa you ready? You yeah. What do you think I am? What do you think I am? I have no fucking clue. I just thought you were gonna be a hundred percent Chinese. You thought, you thought I was gonna be all up in here, huh? Yeah. But I thought damn. I was gonna be like, going hey, fat choy every day. Well, it is going fat choy. I got the red and the yellow. Okay, ready? Yeah. Do 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 do. Ninety-eight percent East Asian and Native American. What does that even mean? Well, Peruvian is Native American. But I'm also 1.8% European. Hey, now. <laughs> that's crazy. I don't even know where that 1.8% yeah, came from. That's awesome. That's interesting. I think Casey did this too, right? He was like 100% Chinese. Like he was 99% Chinese. Yeah. Look at you. Okay. 86% East Asian. I'm 3% Korean? Hey! That's dope. <laughs> that's crazy. Isn't that crazy? I'm going to hit up David. I'm gonna call that fool right now. Where's my Where's my phone? Where is? Never, oh. I'm gonna call that motherfucker right now. 
Because we got a You FaceTime him. You have to FaceTime him. We got a fucking connection. All right. We're going to FaceTime this motherfucker. Let's do this. <laughs> Sorry. God damn. <laughs> I'm dude. sick, baby. Why are you giving me such a hard time? But damn, look at that sunset, though. All right, let's see if this fool's gonna fucking FaceTime me. He's probably gonna pick it up from his phone. I mean, his uh, Apple Watch. Okay, let's do this. You better answer. Hello, you FaceTiming me? <laughs> yeah, what are you up to, David? What the fuck? I'm in my room right now. So I did the uh, 23andMe thing. Hi, David. And uh, so it tells you like what your genetic makeup and all that stuff is? You fucking Korean? I'm 3% <laughs> Korean! <laughs> I can tell by that Korean ass fucking face of yours, man. I'm, th I'm, I'm, uh, three. That's a uh, fat chunk. Huh? That's a pretty fat chunk. Yeah, and I'm 1% Mongolian. Show him, show him the thing. What the fuck? Can you see this? Yeah, I can see it. So I'm I'm um, 86% East Asian. So I'm 78% uh, Chinese, 3% so Korean, 1% uh, Mongolian, and 4% broadly Asian. And then I'm 10% Native American, and I think that's the Peruvian part of me. See, I told you you had a fucking Korean ass fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> Your face is hella Korean, dude. Is it? Yeah, my mom when she first saw you, she thought you were Korean. I am Korean now. <laughs> that's a pretty fat chunk. Who the fuck is Korean in your family? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Someone. You better go through your fucking family tree and lineage. Three percent's not small. That's pretty big. I know. I'm also one point two percent Southeast Asian. That's where the refugee part of me comes from. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Yeah. That's uh, a huge chunk. I know. We're brothers now. <laughs> I know. I'm about to go find out what I watched that fucking three percent Taiwanese. <laughs> Dude, you should do it. This is awesome. How much was it? it was like, I don't know. It was like, I don't know. I'll, I'll let you know. I forgot. I forgot. Every time I ask you about how much I'm going to All right. Peace out, David. Have a good day. I just wanted to share it with you. <laughs> what a good friend. You too. Okay. Let's go That's back to That's crazy. So I, I'm 3% Korean. And then I'm 10% Native American. 1% Daume. The peoples of East Asia and the Americas have shared a genetic history. Their common ancestors left the Near East as early as 80,000 years ago, migrating across Asia. The ancestors of Native Americans began to cross into Americas 12,000 to 15,000 years ago. Your ancestry timeline. Oh, oh shit. shit. I didn't get this. Holy shit. How many generations ago was your most recent ancestor for each population? What? So I'm part Iberian. That means we share the same like European gene. One percent, baby. <laughs> Must I remind you? <laughs> One point two point percent. Poor percent. I'm two percent. Okay, fine. My bad. That is crazy. So, uh, in the modern day, I'm Chinese, obviously. But back in the 1800s, I got some Korean in me, Native American, which is this is exactly tr holy shit. You know what that means? No, you scared me. So, uh, remember I was saying in the 1800s, yeah. my grandpa went over to Peru? Yeah. So, in that same time, maybe my great grandma was fucking a Korean dude. Oh, <laughs> fine. Because it's in the same time period with the yeah. Mongolian and the Southeast Asian. Yeah. That's crazy. Doma? Wow. Yeah. That's Good job, insane. baby. Your shit what do you is mean? cool. Good job. I didn't do any of this. This is cool. I didn't, do any I didn't of this. get any of this stuff. Well, guess what? Our little baby is going to be Korean, Chinese, Native American, Mongolian, European. It's going to be everything, even African. Uh, blah, 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 bullshit. Uh, how much of each ancestry did you inherit from your parents? This is cool. How come I didn't get this? Oh, I got to order a family kit. See, this, this is where they try to upsell you. Where now I got to get my mom and my dad on it. But they already know my answers, I think. But they don't want to tell me. Come on, you already know my answers, huh? You son of a dog, man. What? what? How come I didn't get any of this? These are your chromosome. We painted them with your ancestry composition results. The first 22 are called autosomes and come in pairs of two, each represented by one of the colored horizontal lines in the graphic below. Chromosomes have different lengths and are named 1 through 22. When sorted by size, scientists are not very creative. Lastly, uh, we 
Also look at ancestry on your X chromosome. Two copies like the autosomes if you're a female and only one copy if you're a male. <laughs> that is so I am pretty much 2% European. You always got to round up. And 1.6% uh, Southern European. And pretty much 0.8% Iberian. Unassigned. That's the Neanderthal part. That's so cool. What was the other things you were looking at? Go back. This is so cool, Ma Bear. It is cool. I can't believe I was Korean. There, the lactose. Likely oh, that... intolerant? I, I'm not really intolerant, though. I love ice cream. I love milk. Yeah, but you fart, baby. That's your intolerant. But it's delicious. I don't have diarrhea. <coughs> but that's your intolerant. You're lactose intolerant, baby. That's how you got to get serious? the lactate. Are you serious? You know you are. Why are you trying to play yourself? <sighs> Fine. Don't play yourself. All right, let's see what the fat stuff says. A minute. Bart, your weight is likely to be similar on diets high or low in saturated hey, fats. Hey, we got great genes, Papa. I got the oh, same one. Oh, with the same number of calories. Oh, that's so true. Because remember I was uh, doing uh, keto? Yeah. And when I was doing keto, it was high fat, low carbs, and I still got ripped. Yeah. And then now I'm doing macros, so... Me Very too. true. We got the same. Very How come true. yours is way more like this? I didn't get this. It's just extra information, I guess. That's dope. Okay, let's see. Let's go back. What else? What else? Haplo groups. Neanderthal. Do I have Neanderthal ancestry? You have 253 Neanderthal variants. This is less than 81%. So I have a little bit of Neanderthal. Hmm, interesting. Cool. Interesting stuff. Likely to flush. They got that right. I got that crazy Asian, Asian glow. glow. Crazy. You likely consume less. You consume consume more than me. The alcohol flush reaction is characterized by redness or flushing of the face. Yep. These reactions can result from variants in the ALDH2 gene, which is involved in breaking down alcohol. You cannot break down alcohol normally, which is very true. I get hella red. Um. That's true. I don't have alcohol is metabolized by several enzymes. It is first broken down into acetaldehyde, a harmful substance that is then converted to a harmless acetic acid vinegar. If acetaldehyde builds up, it can cause a number of unpleasant symptoms. Oh, so this is why I think uh, the acetaldehyde, I, it stays acetaldehyde in my body, and which is why I start turning red and I don't feel good, which is why I don't even like drinking alcohol. <coughs> That's so Sorry. true. Interesting. Caffeine consumption likely consumes less. Bar 23 and me, because oh, we're ge genetically similar to me. So I think what they forgot is that I live in America and America runs on caffeine. So, but this so does Asia. You guys drink a shit ton of tea. Yeah, but it's not like coffee though. It, it's crazier because you guys have your dessert teas too in addition to regular tea. But it's still like tea is still like a third of uh, caffeine values as of coffee. Oh, fine. All right. Deep sleep. Less likely to be a deep sleeper. Mm. In the deepest part of the sleep cycle, the brain produces a pattern of electrical activity called delta waves. The strength of these waves reflects how deeply a person sleeps as well as the need for sleep that builds up during the day. Deep sleepers are people with naturally stronger delta waves. So I got weak delta waves. How do you make those strong? I don't know. Just kidding, I don't know. But I feel like I, I, I sleep pretty deeply. What about you? You don't sleep that deep at all. Really? Because you wake up a lot, remember? And you're like, did you hear that? I heard this, I heard that. I'm like, I didn't hear him talk shit. Fine. Bypass you couldn't even sleep with the watch winder. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see what it says. It says... Sleep intensity is measured by delta wave strength, electrical activity in your brain that gets stronger when you're tired and weaker the longer you sleep. Oh, learn more about delta waves, ability to wake. 
Research suggests that people are most difficult to wake when their delta waves are strong. No shit. Oh, that's me. I have strong delta waves. Oh, yeah. I wake up fast. Bam. I'm ready. Lucky. Muscle composition. Oh. What? Maybe. Bart, your fast twitch muscle fibers likely have the alpha actinin 3 protein. Sprinter power muscle type. They got that on lock because they <laughs> already saw what the fuck they were working with and they knew the power and the fucking speed that was going on in wow here. look at the sunset oh are you saying something oh you're talking about this oh yeah this causes, oh, causes solar eclipses wow. yep it look. sure does it sure does cause solar eclipses you're so lame the variant is rare in people of african ancestry is most common in people of native american some researchers think that the lacking alpha actin in three was actually an advantage to early people in Americas. The <laughs> alpha actin in three protein is only found in certain types of fast twitch muscle fibers. Less of this protein is associated with lower power output, which may help explain why few elite sprinters and power athletes lack this protein. Enough said. <laughs> You're so me. Why? <laughs> Okay, let's see. Any more, any more juicy stuff? Because everything else isn't, it's not too crazy to share. Yeah. That's pretty much it. That's everything. That's so freaking cool. Yep. That's so cool. That's so, so cool. What a revelation that I'm going to tell my parents. I'm Korean. I'm Chinese. Native American, which is the Peruvian part that I already know. And I'm part 1% Mongolian. Hey, you're fucking badass, That's Papa. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, yours is way more badass than mine was. Why? Just kidding, mine was pretty cool, too. That's cool. But Good job, baby. I'm glad I was able to share this with you, Mom Bear. Me, too. I share it with you guys, too. And David. And David. <laughs> that was awesome. I hope David does it, too, now. Yeah. Imagine he's, like, 3% Taiwanese, too. Yeah. Awesome, baby. You pretty happy? Okay.